So a few weeks ago, Epic Games organized GDC 2023 and they showcased Unreal Engine 5.2's Forest demo map with a brand new Rivian R1T. I just kept watching it over and over. I really like the design of the entire body of Rivian. Then the thought kicks in my mind, why can't I build that? So I started finding references all over the internet and imported them into pure Rift. When scrolling through Pinterest, I found a Lego white version of a Porsche. I clicked on the link and found a website named Blogzone that makes custom Lego items. On their website, I saw a few of the Lego pickup trucks. So why not slap both those ideas together and make a new version of R1T? And that's what I did. If I want to achieve this, I have to go through some designing challenges. So I imagined the entire process in my mind by using the power of my brain. Then I figured it out, where is the blueprint? I went through the internet but I didn't find any good blueprints. Then I found a post on reddit and found the user manual of R1T. So I took a screenshot and imported it into blender. Before starting the modeling, I divided the model into 10 parts with 7 sub parts. I started the modeling according to the reference. I made a rule that makes it easy to turn a real part into a lego fight part. 70% of lego parts are straight cylinders with circle boolean cuts on the faces. So I could make one cylinder and duplicate it all over the model. And to make some divergence throughout the entire model, I made some custom parts for the front, rear and door panel. After finishing the entire body, I noticed that I could see through the parts, so I have to make the chassis for it. I found some references for the chassis and spent my next day modeling the chassis from scratch and added the suspension. And that's what I came up with. Rivian is going to kill me if they see this design, because I didn't follow any of it and made my own version of the chassis. We are not going to see that much detail, but those details need to be present. I just spent 3 freaking days modeling this and I'm just exhausted. So I woke up the next morning and started the unwrapping process. I added seams and unwrap part by part. But when I tried to pack those parts together, it's packing properly but shows overlap detected. But there is no visual overlap, so I left it unchecked. After that, I set up the texture set and directly imported them into Substance Painter. Cause by now, I'm too lazy to make high poly mesh out of that. I set the baking properties and heat bake. And I thought it would be a first time out baking mesh maps without encountering a bad texture error. And the shittiest thing happened. The front part baked out wrong. I said no problem and started finding the issue. And then I figured it out that an overlap from the front texture set was causing this issue. I fixed it, we imported it, baked it and as you know, it still has some overlap issues. So I threw the entire UV map under a microscope and saw there was an UV mapping problem. I fixed it, re-imported it and baked it. Now the bake has become the finest bake. As Lego is made out of plastic, I threw some plastic smart materials and tweaked it as my liking and hand painted some dust and dirt. Then I exported the texture at 4K. It's time to start rendering. I have three choices, Rainforest Pack, MW Broadleaf and MAE Oak Forest. Those two maps are freaking $219. If I could sell myself for those two maps, I would. But in this state, I have only one option, the Oak Forest, which I picked up for free from the marketplace. I set the map as default and reopened the project, and it took unlimited time to open. When it finished compiling all of its shaders, it looks like a piece of crap. And what the heck is that frame rate? It's been 4 days now, and I thought to leave all behind and start creating the environment from scratch. I imported some nanite meshes and scattered them around. And after some art direction, the final render is ready. Thanks to you all for showing that much love on my previous video. So I'm giving away the entire model with 4K texture for free and you can use it in any personal or commercial project. I am Boss and I will catch up with you in the next one.